Is the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 the best chair in the world or the most overrated chair we've ever seen? Okay, it's not quite that dramatic, but this chair does have a ton of hype following it. It is probably the most commented about chair on our gaming chairs versus office chair videos with quite a few people on both sides of the fence either really, really liking it or didn't like it so much that they returned it. So we've had a ton of requests to bring this in and the day has finally come for us to do a full review on the Evo 2022. So I'm just gonna go through the whole chair from head to toe, including some policies, just give you my opinions on how I think it stacks up to other chairs in the gaming chair industry, as well as the office furniture industry. So we'll just start with the manufacturer of the chair. The chair is made by Secret Lab. Secret Lab was started in around 2014 by a couple gamers. They're based in Singapore and the chairs are made in their factory in China. Now the Titan has a starting price of around $449, but it can get as expensive as $999, depending on how you spec it out. If you get the extra large size with the full leather edition, it will get upwards of that $1,000 mark. But we chose the regular size on our chair here with the standard upholstery, which was $449. Next up, we're gonna talk about some of the policies that you get with the Titan Evo 2022. First being the return policy. Secret Lab gives you up to 49 days to try the chair. If you do not like it, disassemble it, put it back in the original packaging, ship it back to Secret Lab, and they will give you a full refund. Now, you will be responsible for those return shipping charges, but 49 days is quite a long time to try a chair, and getting a full refund on the back end is nice, so overall, I do do think this is a pretty good return policy. Next up, we're gonna talk about the warranty, which is gonna be three years on the entire chair standard. You can extend this to five years by registering the product and then sharing the chair, a picture of the chair on social media, which will give you that extra two years. Now, in my opinion, it would be nice if they just gave you the full five years without requiring you to share it on social media, but that is the route that they've chosen to go. Next up, we're gonna talk about the installation. The installation on this chair was actually pretty straightforward. The parts went together smoothly. The instructions were very easy to read, but it did take a little bit of time because there were quite a few parts that needed to be assembled. If you wanna see the video, check out the link in the description. We did do an assembly video on that. I'd say it'll take most people 15 to 30 minutes depending on your skill level. And the final thing that we're gonna talk about is the shipping of the chair. This chair did arrive to us via FedEx ground in a fairly medium sized box. I'd say it's not overly large, but it's not small. So you might need someone to help you move it just cause it is a little bit heavy. But overall, I will say that the packaging was pristine, very well packaged. Everything had its own individual box or bag or something. So our chair did arrive in very good condition. And I would expect that to be the case with most Secret Lab chairs. Next up, we're gonna talk about the build quality on the Titan Evo 2022. And I will say that this is probably one of the nicest gaming chairs that I've seen when just looking at the overall build of the chair. Now this isn't gonna be a super high priced chair in the whole world of office chairs. So if we were gonna compare this in the world of office chairs, it's probably more of a mid tier type chair. But in the world of gaming chairs, this is gonna be a very high end chair. It feels solid. You do have quite a few decent quality parts on the chair, like the casters, the cylinder, the base, those are definitely gonna be good quality parts that look like they are built to last. You also have some nice adjustability on the Titan, which we don't see on a lot of gaming chairs, things like four-way adjustable arms, and then the integrated lumbar support with height and depth adjustment is a really nice touch from Secret Lab, separating it from almost every gaming chair on the market. Now, there are a few things that I'm not a huge fan of in terms of build quality, which is why I would consider this to be more of a mid-tier chair in the overall world of office chairs, and that is just due to the mechanism on the chair and then just kind of the way that the chair feels as a whole and kind of the noises and the creakiness that come from the chair. So the mechanism is not gonna be a very high-end mechanism. You're getting a knee tilt mechanism it's kind of just a basic knee tilt mechanism. It's not gonna have that synchro tilt action that we see on a lot of good ergonomic office chairs. Even some lower end office chairs have synchro tilt mechanisms, but that is one of the, way that, the ways that they saved money on this chair was going with a lower grade mechanism. And then just the overall kind of noisiness and creakiness of the chair is something that was a bit of a turnoff for me. I actually received an email from Secret Lab shortly after purchasing this chair addressing some of the noise concerns that they've had from their customers. Two of the issues that they pointed to were the lumbar, making some creaking noises when you initially get it and needing to kind of use it for an extended period of time to get those creaks out. And then just the leather itself, making quite a few creaky noises that the previous version did not make. Now, I have not experienced those noises in this chair, but I've experienced noises in the plastics on the side. And these are 
very noticeable noises, and it's basically any time that you ever move or wiggle in the chair. And so for me, it became a pretty big nuisance, and this would definitely be a deal breaker for me. Now, I didn't reach out to Secret Lab to see if they'd be willing to replace these parts or to see if this is a, this is a defect, but based on the email that I received already addressing some concerns with noise, I suspect that this is a fairly common issue. So overall, just to kind of sum things up again. In the world of gaming chairs, this is a very high-end product, a very good quality product. If you want one of the best gaming chairs from a build standpoint, this is probably gonna be it. In the world of office chairs, it's probably gonna be more of a mid-tier type chair. Next up, we've got the seat comfort on the Titan Evo 2022. Now, I will say that from a design perspective. This seat feels quite a bit different than most racing style gaming chairs that I've sat in because they've gone away a little bit from the bucket seat design. Now I know that it looks like it has a bucket seat, but the side bolsters are actually soft. They do not have a hard metal frame in there like most gaming chairs do, which can really be uncomfortable if you lean up against them and it really kind of inhibits your movement and makes you stay basically in the center of the chair and it doesn't really allow you to move outside that. What Secret Lab has done is they've built up these side bolsters, but they're not nearly as tall and pronounced, and they're just foam. So if you lean up against them or sit on top of them or move against them, it is still soft and it does not feel hard and uncomfortable. So a great design change, in my opinion, from Secret Lab when it comes to the Titan, just by giving you more room and more comfort in the seat. Overall, the seat is gonna be a large design, so it is spacious for most people and the seat is much softer than the previous model. I think that was probably the biggest complaint from the previous version of the Secret Lab chairs. I know that the initial Secret Lab Omega that we bought, I think it had probably the hardest padded seat we've ever tested. I mean, it's not gonna be as hard as a plastic seat, but when we're looking at foam, it was definitely the hardest seat that we've tested, and they've gone away from that with this model here as well. So a softer experience, a less rigid experience. A couple drawbacks with the seat, though, that I found, one was the seat depth. You're not gonna get seat depth adjustment on this chair. Most bucket seat designs, racing style gaming chairs, can't have seat depth adjustment. And so the seat was a little too deep for me. The back of the seat did touch the back of my legs. And now I know that Secret Lab has commented on this, that they designed the front of the seat with an angle so that it would be more comfortable if the back of your legs was up against it because you could kind of angle it to match the seat. Now, this is not recommended for the way that you should be sitting in a chair ergonomically. You do not want the back of your legs touching the chair just because it's not great for blood circulation and it's not comfortable to have something rubbing up against the back of your legs constantly. So that would be one drawback. This chair was a little bit too big for me at about 5'9". So I'm not sure if I would have fit better in the smaller version, but the specs did say that this is the chair that should fit me. The other downside that I did find with the seat is that it does not have any flexibility to the seat. While it does have the lack of the pronounced bolsters on the side, it doesn't have any flexibility for you to move like we see on some higher end chairs. And for me, this was very noticeable coming from a Leap chair that has one of the most flexible seats and really kind of not noticing how much I like that or need that until I sat in a chair that was more rigid like the Titan. So if you're someone that really likes to move around and be flexible in their seat, then this might not be a good option for you. The backrest is gonna be the next thing that we touch on, and this is gonna have a prototypical racing style gaming chair back with the very pronounced side bolsters and kind of the racing style shape that goes with it. It does have a high back design, so it will support your neck and head. But one thing about this chair, which most gaming chairs have in common, is that the backrest does not have any flexibility. So the frame is very rigid, very much like the seat. And so doing things like shifting around, moving, stretching, bending are not gonna be possible in this chair. And it's probably one of the biggest things that you notice when coming from a true ergonomic office chair into a gaming chair is just the lack of freedom of movement that you have, both because this happens with the seat, like we just talked about, and then also with the back so these chairs are really designed to kind of just hold you in one position and keep you in that position for basically duration, the duration that you're using the chair and they're not gonna give a ton of freedom. So that's one thing to think about and that's gonna be the case with this backrest. One thing that I do really like about the backrest on this chair that I feel separates it from most gaming chairs is the integrated lumbar system. One problem that most gaming chairs have is they have an absolutely flat 
backrest that doesn't have any natural curvature in it whatsoever. And most of them will just have some type of pillow padding system to help arch your back, which doesn't do a ton for you. Secret Lab has solved this problem by integrating a lumbar system in the backrest that is both height adjustable and depth adjustable, really solving one of the biggest problems that plague most gaming chairs. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about is going to be the pillow that comes with it. It's very comfortable, very squishy, it's like a memory foam. And one really cool thing that Secret Lab has done with this pillow is they've made it a magnet design. So it doesn't have those weak, flimsy straps like we see on a lot of gaming chairs that are prone to snap and then make the pillow useless. Now, you still have the problem where it's kind of easy to move and it does wiggle around a little bit, but it does stay in place for the most part and it prevents you from having a pillow that just breaks and it's not usable anymore. The arms on the Titan are gonna be the next thing that we focus on, first with the adjustability. Now, when looking at most gaming chairs, typically they will only come with maybe one or two adjustments. Typically, height adjustment, maybe a swivel. But Secret Lab has again separated themselves from the pack with most gaming chair models and gone with a four-way adjustable arm, giving you height, width, depth, and pivot adjustment. Now, I will say, that this is a mid-priced chair in the grand scheme of things when looking at office chairs. And while these arms are better than almost any gaming chair that I've seen, more adjustable than almost any gaming chair that I've seen, they are not going to be quite as adjustable as high-end ergonomic chairs. This is something that we see on other office chairs in a similarly priced range. Oftentimes they will have four-way adjustability, but they will not have the height range that maybe a Steelcase Leap chair will have. So one thing that I ran into while using this chair is the ranges weren't quite adjustable enough for me to get them out of the way or in a comfortable position for you, me to use my keyboard tray and mouse, specifically when mousing and specifically when using my number pad. So if you are someone that is tasking a lot, then these arms may not work for you even though they are some of the best arms on gaming chairs just because the price point typically doesn't allow you to have arms with huge ranges like we see on really high-end ergonomic chairs. And next, I just wanna to touch on the arm caps, which I really, really like on the Titan. They are some of the most comfortable arm caps that I've used on any office chair, and that is because they are large, they are soft, they do not have any hard edges, they have a little bit of a smoothness to them, which I'm typically not a fan of, but I actually like on this chair because of the combination with the material. So overall, I found these armrests to be very comfortable in almost any position that I used them. Now, one feature that they did add to these arms is that they made made them replaceable by just being able to click them on and off like that, which is a very nice feature. <clears throat> Part of me wonders if this feature was incorporated because they went with a softer design on the arms, just because the softer the material, typically the more prone it's going to be to break down. So my thought here is that they went with a softer arm but made them replaceable, just so that if they break down on you a little bit sooner than expected, the arm caps can be replaced or purchased at a later date. So a nice feature. I'm a really big fan of these arm caps. I think they're very comfortable. And the final thing we're gonna look at on the Titan Evo 2022 is going to be the reclined function, starting with the knee tilt mechanism. Now I touched on this briefly in the build quality section that it's a very basic knee tilt mechanism. Now a knee tilt mechanism is a step up from a center tilt mechanism. It's basically just moving the pivot point of the chair from directly under you to a point slightly behind your knees. This makes it a little bit better for ergonomics and it makes it easier to recline in the chair. Now, typically with a knee tilt mechanism, your knees will stay in a relatively similar position while you recline in the chair, which is nice because your keyboard doesn't move or get bumped as you're reclining. But unfortunately, I did not find that to be the case with the Titan Evo 2022. My knees did move up quite a bit and I basically had to kind of choose between having my keyboard in a position that I didn't want it, a little too high, in order to be able to rock in the chair or just lock the chair so that I couldn't rock and move my keyboard out of position. So I'll show you what a typical ergonomic chair will look like with a recline mechanism called Synchro Tilt. We see this on a lot of ergonomic chairs from chairs as low as $199, like this chair here that I'm gonna wheel in. This is the 100, this is the 100 MC, which currently sells for around $200. 
but it does have a synchro tilt mechanism. And one thing that you'll notice with this mechanism is that when I do a recline, my knees do not move up and they would not inhibit my keyboard tray or my desk or hit anything that is in the way. Another thing that you'll notice is that the back moves at a different angle as compared to the seat. With the Secret Lab Titan and knee tilt mechanisms with a bucket seat design, you're not gonna have any separation between the backrest and the seat. And that angle is going to stay fixed through your entire recline. And that is one of the reasons why you get in an unergonomic position. That's not the case with synchro tilt mechanism and, and higher end mechanisms that we see in chairs like the Leap Chair, like the Aeron Chair. So it's definitely something to think about. If you're a person that is constantly rocking or reclining in your chair, just be conscious of how you use your keyboard because this might not be a great fit for your situation. And the last feature that we're gonna look at when it comes to the recline is going to be the independent back angle adjustment. And this is the adjustment that all of you gamers are looking for, that ability to recline the backrest all the way back flat to do whatever you need to do. Take a nap, watch a movie, chill on YouTube, just close your eyes for a little bit. This is not an adjustment that we see on normal office chairs just because it's not very practical to have this adjustment in an office setting. Most employers don't want their employees taking naps in the office, but it is a perfect adjustment for a gaming chair if you are in your home office, chilling out all the time and using it for that dual purpose type of activity with lounging and working. So this chair does have that feature. You get that huge range and it does feel very solid and you also have multiple positions to lock it in so you're not stuck with just using it in a couple positions. You have a variety of ways to use the chair which is very cool in my opinion. And that's gonna wrap up our review of the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022. Our next video on the Titan is gonna be a comparison against similarly priced office chairs. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, make sure to give us a like. Thanks a lot for watching.